Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So iOS 14.5 is officially out and that has one big company really, really mad. So for over a year now, ever since Apple announced this new feature that was coming to iOS 14, uh, the privacy feature where it allows users to opt in or to opt out to allow third parties to track them or not. There has been one big company that has not been happy and that company has been Facebook. So Facebook, of course, we all know they're in the business of selling you ads. They're in the advertising business. So that's that's how they make their billions of dollars every every single year. But now that uh, Apple has released uh, this new privacy feature with iOS 14.5, it has put that business model in jeopardy for Facebook, of course, on the iPhone and iPad since that uh, since a lot of people know uh, that uh, probably a lot of them are going to choose to opt out from being tracked uh, by Facebook so that they don't get ads being sold to them uh, when they use Facebook, when they're, when they're using the Facebook app or the Instagram application as well. So Facebook is not very happy right now with this new update. Uh, like almost over a year, uh, Facebook has been complaining, of course, being vocal about this uh, future, how it will not just affect their business model, of course, but how it will also affect the businesses that use Facebook as well to grow their business as well. And that Facebook ha does have a point right there as well, where, you know, uh, small businesses that pay Facebook, uh, well, that don't pay Facebook, but that pay to use the features that Facebook allows them to use to sell ads and everything to grow their business a little bit more, it will affect them since uh, those small businesses won't be able to uh, to get that info that they need uh, for brand new customers. So that's a very, very big hit, of course, for the small businesses that use uh, Facebook as a way to sell ads, of course, and just to uh, ex expand their business model as well online. But of course, Apple is not backing down from this. Like they're not allowing Facebook, they're they're, they're not allowing Facebook, of course, to use uh, the small businesses as a as an excuse for them to be able to track you know that and to give the users the option to allow or not to allow to be tracked uh, as well. So starting, I think, two days ago, Apple has now officially, uh, um, if companies uh, don't update their apps. Uh, to prompt you to give you a prompt to say if you want to be tracked or not uh, They will be taken down from the App Store. So Facebook of course uh, Said that they will be updating their app to give that prompt out But it's gonna take weeks to roll out but for now a lot of people have been receiving these uh, pop-up notifications um, on their Instagram app or Facebook app of course explaining uh, the new features are coming soon, the privacy features that Apple is rolling out with iOS 14.5. So at the end of the day, of course, uh, Facebook, of course, will probably not be too affected by this, uh, by, by this update that Apple is releasing, of course. Um, but also, it's a very good choice for the consumer, for us, right? Because we have the choice to either opt in or opt out to being tracked by by being like by companies selling ads to us when we're searching for stuff or when we're on Facebook and everything we have that option now to uh, not being tracked which of course I have like I think all the apps that I supported right now I've already turned off uh, the I know I mean I turned yeah I turned off ad tracking so like that that those companies don't track me uh, and sell me stuff when I'm using their applications. Now, of course, it's gonna hurt their business model, but also it might grow into something else. Uh, companies will have a better way to sell ads maybe in the future, a much more friendly consumer way instead of just being tracked uh, for your information. And also, this also helps uh, since Apple knows that there's companies that take advantage of uh, a lot of the data that they get take from you on the iPhone. Um, so like we have Google, we have Facebook, we have Amazon that take a lot more than they need uh, information. And then maybe a lot of these companies sell it to third party companies, your data as well, which of course is very scary uh, to see. But of course, when we agree, we're agreeing to the terms and everything. Uh, but now of course, Apple is trying to give the users, like I keep saying, a better chance of uh, saying yes or no to being tracked on the iPhone. 
So that's pretty much it. Of course, um, we're only getting this, of course, with like iOS 14.5, which is really exciting, of course, uh, this new feature that uh, Apple is uh, releasing, well, that has released, of course, for you, but that apps will slowly be rolling out in the next few weeks. So that's it for now. What? Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree with the Facebook side that com small companies are going to be affected, right? Bigger companies like Facebook won't be too affected, of course. They already have a lot of money, of course, so they'll be okay. But what do you think if it's a fair game for the small businesses or is Apple doing the right thing and allowing users to be the ones to choose uh, to either allow it or not to be allowed to be tracked? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to the channel because that does help. Like the video. And as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.